I think with this shot here, I like the geometry of it. We have this huge white column coming down behind it. We have the other column that kind of runs and almost intersects into it along with the edge of the brick coming down. And then we've got that beautiful blue sky in the background. It's kind of almost abstract. Um, it just looks like a little bit of a painting to me. Again, it's another one of those really pleasing images to look at, where it maybe takes you a second to, to figure everything out. But I think there's a lot of beautiful and the simplicity of things that we um, miss sometimes. Similar frame here, the door ajar from this window right here. Just the colors, another basic frame. It's nice. Something kind of oddly pleasing about the four construction hats all filed uniformly along this little perch right here. This is a little bit of a story too. It's something you don't typically think of um, construction and like this type of, I guess, precision and mindfulness, even though I'm sure it takes a lot of that, but I, I kind of like that connection between those two things in this photo here. I'm not even sure if this is photo is going to work. I'm going to have to look later in the computer, but I do like the relationship here with the flower and the, f the flowers here in the foreground in the mirror. I'm not sure if you can see them. And then you have this pair you can see in the mirror taking photos together. Um, I'm not sure what the relationship is, but I feel like I don't know, there's some connection going on there. It might be better formed with the movement of the people and what they're doing, but um, yeah, it's one of those things. We take photos, we don't know, and then we try. I feel like this is one of those photos where if you waited around long enough, it's where the right thing happened in this mirror. It's all dilapidated and kind of twisted and bent. So it's creating these really warped, distorted figures. I'm not sure if you can see in the, in the camera view right now, but there's something here. It almost like dissects the frame into thirds. You've got the left side, the right side, and then this really fractured image here in the middle. I think it might be helpful to point out too that a lot of these photos that I'm taking right now or today are photos I wouldn't think I would have normally have spotted or shot. Um, I recently met up with my mentor in photography and as always it was a really helpful session and shared so much great insight and encouragement. Um, and he shared with me a photographer whose work is very reminiscent of I guess what I'm out shooting right now, albeit a very C version of it, if that. Um, but if you want to check him out, his name is Eric Kogan. I believe it is E R I C K O G A N. Um, and he just photographs still life so beautifully. Um, but 
he always has like his little twist or play on it where it's it causes you to think and I really like that um, and that's kind of I suppose what I'm searching for today and see how it fits with me how, how it sticks and if it has any meaning and most importantly if, if I enjoy it This one, I like the mirroring of the barbershop signs. I also like the three hanging towels in front. Um, I always find something kind of calming about like laundry or towels kind of hanging outside. It kind of has a bit of, um, there's a little breath to the image. So yeah, I think um, the battery's about to die. Ending with something nice and calming will be a good way to finish off the day. It was fun. <laughs>